Hey guys, welcome back to the Art of Craftsmanship. My name is Dustin, and today I'm out with my daughter Corinne, taking a little hike in the woods, and uh, we're gonna build a small fire and use that fire to char the end of one of my handles to my axes. We're also going to uh, roast up some marshmallows and warm up some hot chocolate. Spend some time in the woods, it'll be really nice. It's just a couple days after Christmas, and hope you guys all had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year coming up. Hope you enjoy this uh, hike with us. Have a good time. Enjoy the beautiful day. I'm just making a small kind of wooden fire ring just so I, I know where it's, where the fire is going to be. It's not really, it's just more to contain it. It probably end up, won't end up burning this wood, but just gives me kind of a space that I know that our small fire will be in. Yeah. So we need to collect some kindling. Oh, you got some? Good. Get some kindling and start her up. Now we need more kindling. Oh, there's a nice piece, small piece. Perfect. We'll just be ready with the extra wood once this lights up. Yeah, she, she goes, she's going. All right, I'll find three of them. Yeah. Side. Should be plenty warm for our hot chocolate. You want to just move that bag out of the way? Yeah. Just you fold it up and put it over there. It. I think it needs a hot chocolate dip. Oh yeah, dip her in. Mm. 
So I'm just gonna start off by, <clears throat> by sanding the end of the handle. Um, this is a, an ax that I've been using for a while and so it has a, a good layer of um, boiled linseed oil on it. So I'm just kind of sanding the surface to get some of that off and to kind of raise the grain of the fibers so they burn a little bit easier. This is the first time I'm gonna try this process this way. I mean, I've, I've toasted and charred handles before, but not after you know using them for a while. So I just wanna do this one about halfway, just for the look, nothing other than that, but just figured it'd be a fun project. So I'm gonna char the end here, work about halfway up, and then try to fade back into the natural color of the, the hickory handle. We'll see how it turns out. As I've been working on this, I've kind of realized that the, the best way for this to work is to have a lot of cold flame. So a lot of flames that are kind of burning up high. So instead of heating up the handle all the way through and drying it out, I'm just getting cold flames that are then just charring the outside of the wood. So just keeping some small sticks nearby and putting them in and blowing on the fire to get a lot of nice, you know, a lot of nice flame that's licking up real high, but it's not really hot. All right, so I just have a little jar of boiled linseed oil that I brought out with me. Okay. Just... And the, uh, the heat on the handle will make the oil soak in really well, which is nice. All right guys, this, uh, this turned out really well. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Exactly what I was aiming for with uh, the char on the end. And just working this way up about halfway through. Um, it, was, it was a lot easier than I thought it was once we got the fire burning the way I liked it. Um, took some time and had some hot chocolate with my daughter and marshmallows with my daughter, my brother behind the camera. We had a good time out today. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe and also uh, you know, leave some comments down below what do you think about this type of video. And um, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I try to put up uh, a lot of um, pictures of things we're doing in the shop um, at the Art of Craftsmanship. Follow us there and you see some sneak peeks of new videos coming out. So we had a good time. We're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up and kind of put out the fire, make sure it's really well out before we hike out. And um, you know, we had a great time. We hope you guys liked this video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Yep.